he never gave rules for women and rules for men, okay? He never done that. No, he said love one another as you love yourself, okay? Do unto one another as you would want to have done unto yourself, okay? That's what he said. He said to love the Most High with all of your heart. Love your neighbor as you do yourself. Treat your neighbor the way that you want to be treated. Refrain from doing to your neighbor anything that you would not want done unto yourself. You refuse to keep those four basic commandments so that you can oppress, so that you can set yourself up in authority, so that you can have someone subservient to you, so that you can feel better than somebody. Always trying to one-up your neighbor. That's what kind of society we live in. And people have become complacent with that. And they use that Bible to justify it. It's wicked, bro. It's wicked. Just like they try to use that Bible to justify carrying a weapon. How are you going to use... Just because it says that the Messiah told you to go get a sword... Does not mean that he literally meant for you to go out there and get a freaking sword or a gun, okay? He told you thou shalt not kill, alright? That bears record to you not doing anything to your neighbor that you would not want to have done unto you, okay? It has to bear record with his eternal law, alright? And those four basic commandments is part of his eternal law. And it goes for all of his creation. Alright? All of humanity and all of creation. That is the truth. But yet you refuse to keep that. No, you want to keep all of this other trivial crap. You want to have an excuse to hate people. You're not going to have an excuse, people. And your time is quickly running out, all right? It is running out very fast, all right? This hourglass is damn near empty, okay? Because, bro, he has risen up his hidden ones.